Damn. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlogs. It's me. I'm here. It's been a really hard week. I had a midterm this week. I pulled an all-nighter. I had a lot of coffee while pulling that all-nighter. Do you guys want to see how I successfully pull an all-nighter? Because I will show you. I'll make a video about it if that's something you want to see. This is going to be another video where it's just me. I'm so sorry about it, but I have had no footage because I haven't done very much. I thought I was gonna have some footage of me going to the grocery store, but I didn't because my friend Catherine <laughs> abandoned me. So I'm just gonna put in footage that didn't make it to the vlog last week. So I have a clip of me doing a haul of business casual stuff. Business profession, nah, I don't know. There, I needed business type clothing and I didn't have any. I was gonna put it in last week's vlog, but it made the vlog too long. So if that's something you're into, uh, that's something you could watch right now. When I went back to Houston this weekend, I actually got a bunch of business, business casual clothing, and I figured I would show it all. I'm gonna start with Burlington, and the only thing I got at Burlington was this pair of pants, and they look like this and they have cute two cute little buttons right here and you can see the crease down the middle they have a straight cut they're just black and the waistband isn't stretchy but it's fine um as far as the fit of like the pant itself it fits really really well i'm getting so washed out by just holding this up i'm so sorry these were really really nice and they were $12.99 at Burlington. The next place I went to was Ross and I also picked up another pair of black pants. They're a little different. They don't have buttons. They just hook right here. Ugh, it's a double hook. That one's a double button. And this one is a little stretchier at the waistband. Um, and the pant fits a little skinnier, I want to say, than the other one. So I just got them to have a little bit of a variety. You might be surprised by this haul because not everything those are the only black, other than my shoes, those are the only black items that I have in this haul. The next place I went to was Marshall's, and I picked up this blue shirt. It's a long sleeve, but I have it cuffed because I just wore it to my meeting. And this was 20 bucks at Marshall's. The next thing I picked up from Marshall's was this pair of pants. And before you say anything, they are colored pants. And I have not worn colored pants in a really long time. They look like this really stretchy really stretchy they kind of feel like jegging material they're a straight cut and the reason I got it in this brownish blush pink reddish color is because I got it to go with yes shocker but this shirt oh my bad it's kind of like a three-quarter sleeve shirt with these bell sleeves that split and it's so cute and I don't know I felt like this was a good match and uh, my mom actually was the one who pointed this out. She was like, get some pants to match your shirt. And I was like, you know what? You are so right. So we picked this out. This was 20 bucks. The pants were also 20 bucks. Nothing I got from Marshalls was on sale, which really upsets me, but it's fine. Got a little bit of a slit in the bottom and here's a button and it's really, really cute. And I'm such a fan. The next shirt I got is in this, I said it was maroon before I got it. See, now it's showing up red on the camera, but they're like, it's more like a pink than maroon, but it's showing up either maroon or red on the camera, I can't tell. It's kind of got a little bit of an A-line cut, and it just, the neck goes down just like this, and it's got three-quarter sleeves, and it's super flowy and nice. Those are all the things I got from Marshalls. The next set of items I got are from JCPenney. And these I did get on sale. They had like a 50% off like most of their items. And the first thing I'm about to show you is not business or business casual. I just thought it was really cute. It's this long sleeve denim shirt and it has like a little bit of a lace up. And the reason this lace up goes so deep is because it actually went to about here. And this was sewed shut for the most part. But I didn't like that so I unstitched it. So I think I'm going to pull this. I'm just gonna lace it up all the way up to the top and I think it's gonna look really cute with just leggings and it's very fall that's why I got it the next shirt I got from JCPenney is this short sleeve white collared button-up shirt and to anyone who ever went to school in Singapore with me would know that this was kind of a part of my uniform 
and I had to wear this with a blue pinafore. It's a little see-through, but the reason I got it is because if I wear a blazer over it, you can't really tell. Since fall and winter is right around the corner, I can just wear like a sweater over it. I have a gray sweater that would look really, really cute with this. So I'm very excited to do that clothing combination. I'm gonna wear it under my black dress for Halloween so I can be Wednesday Adams again. So the next two shirts are fairly similar. Well, they're just two striped shirts button-ups, three-quarter sleeves. This one's navy and the strips are a little thinner, I think, and closer, narrower, whatever. And these are a little bigger and this is just white and gray. This is navy blue and white. And the last item I got, I didn't get over the weekend. I actually got prior to the weekend, but I'm just gonna show it to you anyway. I bought them a while ago and I don't know if I put it on the vlog. I bought some shoes from Target since I don't have any black flats. These are by the A New Day line at Target and they're just pointed flats and uh, I am breaking them in so I've only worn them a few times and I'm trying to get you know this to stop digging into my heel so it's just like a black suede material so that's gonna be it for this haul I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the vlog back to you future me <sighs> see wasn't that lovely I forgot to mention that this entire vlog is just gonna be me opening stuff and showing you stuff because I did get some things in the mail influencer was so kind to send me a box box this month and it had a bunch of goodies in it and I also got my Ipsy bag for the month and if you don't know what Ipsy is it is a monthly subscription bag it comes with a cute little bag every month and inside you get about five beauty items that is customized to your preferences for every item you review you get points and then if you refer a friend and a friend subscribes using your referral link you get 250 points and you can use those points and redeem stuff I don't know about you but Doing Ipsy is like spending 10 bucks a month just for someone to do my beauty shopping for me. So that way whenever I go to Target or Walmart or Ulta or whatever, I don't feel compelled to buy something because I know something's gonna come in the mail. It's like someone goes makeup shopping for me every month and I just get it in the mail and it's great. So here's the footage of me opening my Vox box from Influencer and my October Ipsy bag. So I'm gonna open this one first. This month's bag looks like this. It's funny because it looks like it's like lace with roses, but it's not. It just, it feels like not lace. What does this feel like? Like canvas almost? I don't know, but it's not lace. But it's really cool that it looks like lace. First thing I got was this Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder from It Cosmetics. Cool. If I can just open this, that'd be real nice. It comes like this and it's got a little got a little sponge and it looks like that and this I believe is just a airbrush silk pressed anti-aging finishing powder it makes your pores disappear let's hope so the next thing I got was the Smashbox photo finish lid primer in the shade light and it is what it says it is it's a primer for my lids really nothing special if you guys want like reviews on the stuff I'll do them just let me know oh yes okay this is the trick and treat active pro propolis propolis cream concealer from hey honey I love hey honey products I think this is the third one the first hey honey product I got from ipsy was a moisturizer and it was so nice and my next favorite thing and I still use it right now it is a um it's a lip balm and you guys know once it starts getting cold my lips dry up they get chapped they just hate me the next thing I got was this context of vitamin C all day eye cream can I wear this under my makeup because that would be really nice this looks like a full product but I wonder if it comes in like a bigger size I don't know what this does it doesn't say it's just an eye cream I, I think it's supposed to be like hydrating so my dark circles are really bad, so let's hope that works. And the last thing I got was a Luna by Luna. I think this is a lipstick. This is a Luna by Luna lip crayon in the shade Ilara. Really pink. Those are all the things that come in my Ipsy bag. Time to open this influencer box. What's inside? What is this? A Main Magic 10-in-1 primer with argan oil, sunflower seeds for all hair types. This is by Eva... Eva Nye. And then I got some sweet tarts. I'm taking this with me to the library tonight. Alba Botanica Acne Dote. Maximum strength face and body scrub. Oil free. Fights breakouts even after you rinse. With 2% salicylic acid acne medication formulated with willow bark extract. 100% vegetarian ingredients. This is cool. It's you by Kotex. Eva Nye 
Purse Perfect Hair Towelette with Argan Oil Omegas 3678. No, oh, three, six, seven, and nine. Tames frizz, smooths flyaways, and refreshes on the go. Okay, so the retail price for the face and body scrub is ten dollars and forty-five cents. The retail price for the the hair primer is eleven ninety-nine, and the retail price for these hair towelettes they come in a pack of ten per box is fourteen ninety-nine. Oh, it's NYC, not nine. I'm stupid. You can find these Ava NYC products at CVS, Urban Outfitters, Ulta, Forever 21, and Target. Thank you to Influencer for sending me these awesome, awesome, awesome boxes. I really love you guys. And that's going to be this portion of the vlog. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TalkToMatilda. I'm going to go, and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye! Mm. Yeah.